So I've been putting off trying Brave Browser for way too long. I've been comfortable with Helium and honestly, I didn't see the point in switching. But after seeing everyone talk about the privacy features, the built-in ad blocking and all this new memory optimization they just released, I figured it's time to actually test it myself. So today I'm installing Brave for the very first time and taking you through the entire setup with me. We're going to configure it properly and test it against my current browser and see if Brave actually delivers on what everyone's been hyping up. So here I'm on Helium browser and let's search here for Brave browser and let's go here Brave browser download. I will click here get Brave for Windows and now we already have here the installer so let's click on it. Here I will have to click on yes to start the installation of the Brave browser and here it's the install pop-up so let's just wait for it to install. And here's the welcome screen so right now let me just resize the window just like this. Privacy by default get Brave protection on every link you click just set Braves as default and browse privately. Now here I will click on skip, skip once again, one better search results, I will click maybe later and I will also disable send diagnostic reports and also share private and anonymous product insights. And this is the Brave browser. So the UI, I think it looks much more cluttered compared here to the Helium browser. So if I put here the browser, which I currently use on my left, now you can see that the Brave has a lot more buttons here on top and also this bookmarks tab as well, which I will try to right now remove. Overall, I think Helium is still cleaner out of the box, but let's see here how far we can take the Brave browser in terms of the customization. One thing which I will do, I will try to replicate here the Helium browser style. So it has this really minimal buttons here without the bookmark tab. So this is what I will try to replicate here inside the Brave browser. For this bookmarks, let's also try to right click. I will delete here show tabs groups. And also maybe we have here show bookmarks. We can click here on never. So we already here removed the bookmarks tab. Let's also try to remove here the buttons here on the right. So let's try to here remove this one as well. So unfortunately it can't go away. And then here we have this Leo AI, which I will also try to remove. Let's click here, hide sidebar icon. Then we have here, what is this brave wallet? Let's also remove this one. Then we have here another Leo AI pop-up. So let's also remove this one, hide Leo AI icon. And then here we have brave VPN start seven day trial. I will remove this one as well. So hide VPN button in toolbar. And let's also try to remove the sidebar as well. So if I click here on the settings, we have here, show sidebar show on the right we have here this set to never and let's also try to remove every single thing here from the sidebar as well so let's click here on remove 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 once again and then once again on remove and then here on top we have this history button i hope we can also remove it and then we also have the brave rewards so maybe we can also remove hide brave rewards icon so this and then here we have the brave icon which we cannot unfortunately remove and now let's also try to remove here the new tab which is this ask brave search but maybe if we go here to the background image we can just remove everything search remove this top sites as well. Maybe we can go here and click on favorites. So this is very similar here to the Helium browser, which also has here the most visited websites. But here the Brave browser has this different option. So let's remove it as well. And then we have here this thing clock and then we have the cards. I will just remove every single thing here. So this is as far as we can go with this new tab. So one thing which I will do to get completely rid of this new tab or the Brave browser, I will go here here and search for new tab redirect. So this is Chromium extension, which you can install. And whenever you will click here on plus for a new tab, it will redirect you here to the predetermined website. So let's right now configure it quickly. So here I will click add to Brave. And now here we have this new option. So right now you will have to go here to the set options and I will type in here google.com and we can click here on save. And then if I click here on plus, you will see that this was straight redirected to Google and we can click here on keep it. Now we don't have this new tab anymore from Brave, but we have here Google search instead. And now we can take a look here at the UI. I think it looks much cleaner than before. So we don't have the sidebar anymore. And also the buttons are greatly reduced here on top. So it's much more similar here to the Helium browser. And then here we have the Brave settings. So if we go under the appearance, we can change the theme, customize your toolbar. So let's try this. I will add here my home home page as well as I will add this option open in split view. So just like this, 
So we have these two options, just like the Helium has it right here. So it has home button as well as the split view. Now let's continue here with a few more modifications. So under the appearance, we can also change here this white address bar. So for example, we can enable it and you can see how the address bar is actually extended. And we can also try this option, show rounded corners on main content areas. So let's enable this. Then we have the tabs. So here you have the option to use vertical ones and also tab hover mode you can see that you can pretty much see this quick preview and you can also change this to card with preview or even tooltip. I will select here card with preview. Shields and this is pretty much turned on by default inside the Brave browser and it's similar option here to the Helium because Helium has uBlock origin here built inside the browser as you can see. It's already pre-installed whenever you install the Helium browser and the Brave browser has this shields option which blocks trackers and ads which follow you across the web. And here we can also turn this option to aggressive if you want to, and also to the strict. So the ad blocking looks pretty cool here on the Brave browser. Web three modifications as well. So pretty much you have here the wallet, which I think you should definitely disable. Leo, I think you should also turn off. Then we have the sync. Search engine, we can pretty much change here from Google to whatever you like. DuckDuckGo, Quant, Bing, and stuff like that. Then we have here also the extensions. So in the first place, why I wanted to test out the Brave browser, because they apparently overhauled the ad block engine and it cuts the memory consumption by 75%. And this was posted here on January 5th this year, so 2026. So let's see here what they pretty much did to achieve that. So Brave has overhauled its Rust-based adblock engine to reduce memory consumption by 75%, bringing better battery life and smoother multitasking to all users. The upgrade represents roughly 45 megabytes of memory savings for the Brave browser on every platform. So not only on PC, but Android, iOS, and desktop. And this is apparently also live here in Brave Brave version 1.85 and more additional optimizations are also coming in version 1.86 and here we can see a brief comparison so here we have the Brave browser on previous versions so 1.79 and you can see memory footprint 162 megabytes and then we have here the latest version 1.85 and it only has memory footprint of 104 which I think it's really really good so right now let's compare this to the Helium browser but the first thing which I will do I will remove every single extension here enabled on the Brave as well as here on the Helium browser. So let's go here, manage extensions and turn this one to off. And now we have here both of the browsers without any extensions enabled. For example, we can go here to the Microsoft.com on every single browser and we can go here and let's go to the task manager to see which one actually uses more memory. Here we have the Brave browser and then here we have the Helium browser. Now there's only one tab opened and we can see here that the Brave browser is using here 480 megabytes of memory. And if you compare this to the Helium browser, you can see only 290 megabytes with only one website open. So I think that the Brave browser still has a lot to do in terms of the memory optimization to beat Helium browser. And now let's also try the browser benchmark. Here I will go to browser benchmark. And right now I will first test the Brave browser and then also the Helium browser. So let's click here on speedometer and start the test. So the Brave browser got the score of 18.3 here on the browserbench.org for the speedometer 3.1. And now let's also test here the Helium if it's going to beat the Brave browser. So the higher number, the better. So let's click here on speedometer and start the test. And now we can see here that the Helium browser also finished this test. And you can also see that it beat the Brave browser just slightly. So 18.3 for the Brave and then 21.7 for the Helium browser. And the question is, will I switch from Helium to the Brave browser? I can confidently say that no, because I think that the Helium browser is a really good browser without excessive RAM consumption. And it's super fast and also very minimal in terms of the bloatware, unlike the the Brave browser, which has all the AI stuff built in, as well as the wallet and also other things which I don't like about the browser. However, Brave browser is already established and it has a massive team working behind it. And if you want something which blocks ads out of the box, I think you should definitely use it. Just disable every single ad option, wallet option, 
and uh, AI option. So that way you will get more lean experience. But you can see that they are still improving it because of the memory optimization options. However, if you want something leaner in terms of the RAM consumption, and I think also the CPU and storage consumption, I think you should definitely take a look here at the Helium browser. And I think that it's only developed by two developers and they are working very hard on this browser to be as lean as possible and to block every single ad. Now you can also see this post on the Reddit, how many of the stars the Helium browser actually got since the October right now to 2026. You can see this massive spike in terms of the stars on the GitHub. So I think this project is definitely a good one. And if you want something lean, you should definitely install it. Now I will leave both of the links for both of the browsers in the video description down below. And if you enjoyed this video, drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you all around in the next video.